Hello folks, today I'll be presenting App Lovin, which is a profitable, high growth advertising tech company listed on the NASDAQ. Now, I own the stock and it just had a really good earnings report and I'll probably buy more on any future retracements because it has the makings of a future monster stock. Anyway, I'll go over several things in this video. What App Lovin does, commentary of the latest results, technical analysis, why I invested in this company, and finally, my prediction for AppLovin's share price. So AppLovin has two revenue segments, software and apps. Let me explain the software side first. Let's say you have developed an awesome app and you want to market it to potential users. AppLovin has a software platform that can do that for you called App Discovery, which is hundreds of millions of user data. Now let's assume you already have a million users on your app and you want to monetize it through ad placement. Well, you can offer ad slots in your app to advertisers and they will bid for those slots. You can choose to take the highest bidder or whoever you want. That's a very simplified explanation of the software side. The other side of the business is their apps business. They basically develop and sell games to users. And this is how they get user data. This is called first party user data in marketing speak. And it's hugely valuable because platforms like Apple and Facebook have stopped giving away their own user data due to privacy legislation. And this is a flow diagram showing how App Lovin makes money. It sells an app, or usually a game, gets the user's data, stores it in app discovery, makes the user data available to app developers, who want to market their app and app Lovin takes a commission actually i'm not too sure whether app discovery operates on a commission or subscription revenue model but whatever it is app discovery is printing money for them right now as you'll find out soon their apps business is profitable in its own right but the real growth in revenue and earnings is coming from app discovery this is what's driving app Lovin right now and the future is looking very bright for them moving on to the latest quarterly and full year results in the fourth quarter of 2023, they generated a revenue of $953 million, 36% year over year, a net income of $172 million at a net margin of 18%, and free cash flow of $340 million. As of the filming of this video, its market cap sits at under $16 billion and PE ratio is 158. Now, this looks expensive, but if you extrapolate the latest quarterly revenue and multiply it by 4, we get a price of sales multiple of 4, which is not that high for a fast growing tech stock. If you do the same calculation with Palantir's latest, latest quarterly revenue, you get a price of sales of 22.8, which is really high. By the way, I own Palantir as well. You might say that Palantir deserves a really high price of sales because it's an AI stock. Well, App Lovin is an AI stock too. It was actually implementing AI capabilities into its software years before this whole generative AI movement began. Recently, they have begun to use generative AI to boost their AI capabilities even further, like this announcement from this week shows. Anyway, back to the earnings report. What's really great about this report is that it shows how strongly their software segment is growing. Five quarters ago, their software revenue made up only 44% of their total revenue. Last quarter, it made up 60%. So that shows you that their software segment is where the growth is right now. In fact, their app segment revenue has actually stalled. It doesn't matter though, because that's just a way for them to get user data, which is where the real value lies. What's interesting is that AppLovin is actually buying back a lot of stock. Indeed, it bought back 54.3 million shares last year, which reduced its net total shares by nearly 10%. In the process, it spent more than a billion dollars. You might say that's a bit much, but look at how cheap AppLovin was trading last year. It bottomed out at the start of the year and the company bought back shares all the way back up to the end of the year. So they basically caught the bottom in their own shares. Very, very impressive and a smart play by their founder and CEO, Adam Forogi. By the way, the more I study this guy, the more I like him. He just comes across as a straight shooter who wants to deliver for his shareholders. Let's now compare the latest quarterly to its full year results. We see that FY 2023 revenue grew 17% versus Q4 revenue growth of 36% year over year. This is good because it means growth is now accelerating. 
It's like AppLovin has reached another gear in its growth trajectory. One caveat to all of this is that, unusually for a tech company, AppLovin has decided to raise capital through debt rather than through share issuance. Even though it's been paying off a fair amount each quarter, it still owes nearly $3 billion in long-term debt. This seems substantial, but remember, AppLovin will likely produce more than $1 billion in free cash flow alone this year. So the debt is not exactly a deal breaker. Let's now move on to technical analysis. Here's a weekly chart of App Lovin. Now, if this chart does not look bullish to you, I don't know what I can say. It was quite volatile after the IPO. It tried to go higher, but the bear market of 2022 put a quick stop to that. App Lovin crashed from around $110 to around $10 in the span of just 12 months. But look at all the green volume bars since 2023. These are incredibly bullish because it means the rallies are occurring on high volume. It looks like a U-shaped bottom was formed early last year, and we got a strong rally up until September where it sort of stalled and has been been consolidating since. However, I feel like something has changed over the past month. First, the broader stock market particularly the Nasdaq, has rallied strongly since December. And look at the recent breakout in the stock the past few weeks. It's on above average volume, and with the positive earnings we just got, I think this breakout is pretty legit. So even though the stock is at 52-week highs, I think it's still cheap. As of this recording, it looks like the market agrees. It's currently trading up 18% pre-market. Hopefully it does a Palantir and ends up 30% over the next day. In any case, I'll be holding for at least the next 12 months, well unless it crashes, which is pretty unlikely but it may happen, you never know, and uh, the next 12 months is going to be very exciting indeed. Before I give my price predictions, I want to summarize why I invested in App Lovin in the first place. So the first reason is it has pretty good cash flow, free cash flow positive actually, $340 million dollars in the latest quarter. It has high revenue growth, well high revenue and earnings growth. Quarterly revenue was 36% year over year. Thirdly, I like how management executed share buybacks last year. I mean they bought back more than a billion dollars worth of stock. That's pretty impressive. And they reduced the share count by 10% last year and they're going to continue doing so this year. Furthermore, it might have been instigated by the founder who I'm coming to respect quite highly. I mean he just seems to make the right decisions at the right time. He's definitely delivering for the shareholders. And yes, App Loving crashed in 2022, but that was more of a macro issue and a broader, sort of caused by the broader stock market crash in that year. Lastly, the chart, as you saw, looks incredibly bullish. I'm not going to say too much more on that. Finally, my predictions, my price predictions. So my base case is that we will get a rally to $60 before it encounters resistance and consolidates again. This is about a 30% premium to the current price. We can easily get there in just a week if the price gaps up today. Then, if the company continues to deliver strong results, this could get to the old highs of $110 and beyond. But it's all dependent on the broader market staying up and not crashing, and AppLovin executing its growth plans to a high standard. Once AppLovin reaches $60, hopefully it'll pull back a little, at which point I'll probably buy more and add to my position. Anyway, that's my take on AppLovin. I want to hear your thoughts. Are you holding the stock? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. See you next time.